Alright, this is my baking soda and vinegar and a water bottle. What you need is five sheets of toilet paper, baking soda, vinegar of course, and then a flimsy water bottle that can like bend easy. Okay, first what you'll do is take the baking soda and pour a little bit of it on there. Um, that's probably good. I'm like, uh, there we go. Then what we want to do is roll it up. So I'm just taking it, rolling it up. Like, you roll anything up. And then fold the edges as you go, like, every fifth turn. Yeah, and you'll need some tape too, but I'll do that later. Okay, then you want to take your water bottle and take off the cap. Okay, then take this and pour it in there. That's it. Just like maybe inch and a half up water bottle. Okay, then you want to tape this and put it in there like that so it stays in there. So you want to put it in there like that and so it stays in there. And but you'll tape the bottom of it right here and then when you put in. You put it in. You want to put the cap so it's just a so it's holding on to that a little bit, and you're ready to go. All right, this is how you put in your roll of baking soda that you've made out of the uh, paper, uh, toilet paper, and you just tape it on the bottom so none leaks out before you want to shake it up, and you'll just stick it in there. Stick the toilet paper in there. Just leave a little bit, not that much at all. Because if you do, air will leak out and it won't work very well. So I'm just going to take that little bit so it stays up there. And then, you're ready to go. Make sure your cap's on really tight. Because you don't need it on there tight. Alright, let's go shoot. Stick it up like this. Make sure you're wearing eye protection, I'm not sure. Make sure you're wearing it. Well, no. Okay, now it's shaking, really shaking up. And yeah, there's a lot of pressure on the bottom. I'm going to shake up a little bit more. A little bit more pressurized. Alright, now we're ready to proceed. Once it starts to bubble with this, you're ready. That one didn't work out so well, so I'm going to try again. Alright, so as you can see, the bottle is really destroyed. Do not be near this when this goes off. Alright, for this one, I put it a lot of baking soda and quite a bit of vinegar. And I'm going to see if it makes any difference in the explosion. I think it's going to make a little bit bigger explosion, but let's check it out. Alright. So, let's check it out. Make sure the cap's tight just before we do it. Alright, for this one, they pretty much completely destroyed the bottle. And it definitely does make a difference. 
Make sure you're way away for this one.